battle point exercise and how to practice this and more for week 10 of the Guitar Way Challenge. It's been 10 weeks since we've decided to stay true to our practice. Now, 10 weeks later, I'm starting to see some results on my technique. I hope you are uh, seeing some results on yours as well. So before we go into uh, this week's exercise, let's talk a little bit about practicing. So uh, first of all, I'd like to say that I don't really like the word practice because it kind of makes you feel like you are twisting your own arm into actually doing something. No, it's um, playing guitar is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be, well, what you want it to be. Now, we wish to become, let's say, professional guitarists, to pay our bills by playing guitar. Well, that's, that's within your reach. That's not entirely impossible. Uh, I do it and I don't have, I don't even have a, a white wall to shoot videos against. Obviously, I don't pay the bills with my YouTube channel. I would like to do that, but until then, I will need to reach more people and just be consistent about my practice and about the things I do. So, uh, let's leave that. Let's just concentrate on uh, our skills and how we should practice. So, first of all, let's uh, establish three rules. Rule number one, we will need to prioritize the guitar. Look, I'm, I'm a gamer. I really, really like to play video games. And when I think about that, uh, all the time that I spent playing Skyrim and all the time I spent playing <laughs> World of Warcraft, if I had played half the time, uh, if I had played guitar, I would be a much better guitarist right now. Maybe you think the same thing, but I don't know. We really need to prioritize. So now that we have established that it's important to prioritize the guitar, let's uh, go into rule number two. Rule number two, accept the fact that there are thousands of guitarists out there who are way better than you are. It's not about being better than them. It's about being, well, let's say, better than you are right now. It's about being consistent, confident, and about doing your own thing. You don't need to be an uh, incredible shredder if you want to, to make it as a guitarist. No, you don't have to, but you should be good. You should be proud of uh, your work and you should try to present the best uh, performance that you can because remember that the audience deserves that. They don't deserve to, to be fooled into seeing uh, crappy guitar playing. Please um, accept that and uh, actually take pride in your work and your practice and don't try to feel threatened every time you see someone uh, playing better than you especially if that someone is an Asian kid all right so moving on to rule number three now remember the path from um, the how to deal with failure video that's uh, the rule number three well we have chosen the path so we will follow the path. We cannot divert. Please don't do that to yourself. That's rule number three. Stay on the path that you have chosen. You don't know how close it might be for you. So stay on the path, stay true to your practice and things, good things will happen. So. These are the ground rules for uh, our practice. Now, into uh, the, the 
practicing part actually. So the practicing part, you are going to try it like this. You will divide your time in a way that you have at least one hour for technical playing and one hour to songwriting or learning songs. Remember, we are trying to build a career. No more kid stuff. All right, let's try to build a career. And in my opinion, two hours a day for a guitar when you are trying to build a career are not enough. But let's start with that. So two hours. For the first hour, you will take three exercises. All right. So we had three rules. Now we have three exercises that you will play until you can play them properly, of course. So we take the three exercises and you will play each exercise for five minutes. We will start at a slow tempo and we play the exercise for five times until we can play the exercise five times in a row perfectly. If you got the exercise wrong, start again. After uh, you can play it five times properly and perfectly and with a clear technique, you will uh, hit the, um, the metronome and you will uh, increase the speed a little bit for let's say five beats per minute since we are uh, going all on fives. You will do five beats uh, per minute higher and you repeat the same process. All of that in five minutes. After that you go into exercise number two and you repeat the same process. Then you go into exercise number three and you will repeat the same process again. You will keep that up for one hour. So doing uh, three exercises, uh, five minutes each, is uh, 15 minutes for each round, so you can do four rounds in one hour. Now, be careful about the exercises that you choose. Don't choose exercises that actually counter uh, the technique that they have. For instance, you chose one exercise of alternate picking and you chose one exercise for uh, sweep picking. Well, you should not do that because uh, sweep picking and alternate picking are contrary techniques. One asks for one thing and the other for another. So you don't need or you should not do that to your brain. So uh, be careful about that. Try to keep uh, exercises of the same kind and just do that for uh, one hour. Now, on to the second hour of our practice. Important. You will um, take one song or uh, several songs if you want to and you will divide that song into parts and you will do precisely the same thing with the five minutes. Play each part of the song until you can play uh, the three parts that you have chosen perfectly. That's really, really important and you will see that you will actually learn how to play that song faster. It will be easier for you. Now, if you don't want to learn um, how to play a, a song, but you actually want to work on your songwriting, just don't take just one backing track and play over that over and over, because you will only be um, recycling licks and uh, solo breaks that you already know. That's not what you want. You want to develop your phrasing and your actual songwriting capabilities. So what do you do? Well, remember the path. You will see something by that guitarist that you actually like and you will try to learn what he is playing by ear because you will be trying to understand uh, melodies 
solos and rhythms like he does. Of course, you will not be able to think exactly like he does, or she, uh, because uh, the experience of a guitarist is what dictates the way that that guitarist or that particular guitarist understands something while yours is your previous experience. So let's say that your previous experience determines the, the, the color of the lens through which you see the world and you perceive it. So don't worry about that because you don't have to think exactly like your favorite guitarist you need to think kind of like he does because that will keep you let's say original so that's that is something to consider and something to try so go ahead do that and don't forget to send us a message and tell us how did it go okay so now for the actual exercise pedal point now classical uh, nature so i hope you enjoyed this one i know i did so, I'll see you again on week 11.